Welcome back to the live morning show presented by Don Bull Chevrolet. <coughs> As promised, my co-host Wayne Holliman is showing up. Wayne's not in the best of moods this morning. Why is that, Wayne? Braves lost a game last night. How many games up here in the division? That cut our division lead to 11. I know. I would be worried on August 1st with an 11 game, 11 game lead with only two months left to go in the regulars. I would be very concerned uh, about uh, that by losing yeah. a game. That's to why a I was late this morning. I had to recover from falling down to 11 game leads. So. How, how are you? I'm doing good, doing good. <clears throat> I say fighting off some little crud or something. I, sometimes you get that summer crud and it's worse than the ones you get in the winter time, but I don't have any symptoms of any, you know, like actual other stuff. I just kinda can't seem to get my throat completely cleared. So I may have to <clears throat> jump up and grab some water here and there, but I'm gonna feel great. Are you so. contagious? No. You sure? My energy is contagious. How about that? I promise I would not be here if I thought there was any chance of getting you. If, if I didn't come in the show every time I had a little sinus drainage, I would basically never be here. So. It's going to be one of those mornings. Yeah, isn't it? One of those mornings. So if, if I just get up just to go get some water, then it's not because I don't agree with something or anything like that. Um, but no, I'm, I'm excited to be here and ready to rock and roll with today's topics. Good. Um, we talked a little bit at the top of the show that the <clears throat> casino discussion continues to uh -huh. pretty well dominate the topics of, of what does. people are talking about out there. Um, you've been out and about yesterday. Did you hear or talk to anyone else about uh, this topic and what did you hear? Yeah, um, I try to keep my ear to the ground, so to speak, and, and ask people and uh, you know people will come up to me. I would say overall, the it's, it's interesting, Lynn, because the majority of folks that I that are talking to me about it do not want this to happen. Um, they have um, yeah, a lot of concerns about it. Which the way we laid it out yesterday, <clears throat> I, I'm not really I, I don't know. I mean, I, I see what they're saying, but what are the primary objections? They just it, it's more of the <clears throat> I think it's more of the faith based religious type approach um, it seems to be the, the biggest objection and which was interesting because that's what um, chairman Davis Robbie Davis said the majority of the people that objected it to him <clears throat> were from the faith-based community or people that were expressing uh, faith-based based desires or whatever so but it's kind of like you said um, you know you don't have to necessarily <clears throat> I, I, I'll, I'll put it to you this way like I personally don't drink. That's a choice that I, mm -hmm. I that I make. But but I don't object to people that have businesses where they supply that. I mean because it's it's a livelihood. It's a business. Same thing with gambling. I believe it or not. <clears throat> this is crazy to think about. I'm 43 years old and I have never even purchased a lottery ticket. Not even just for the fun of it. Um, never gone to a casino and pulled the slot. Um, probably because I know in my mind that it would be fun and I would worry about actually getting addicted to it. If I'm being completely honest, I, I think if I, if I pulled a machine and won a grand or a couple, like it would, it would instantly get me. So <clears throat> you look at it from the economic standpoint, the job creation standpoint, if you can if you can get your own personal views of what casinos bring and the gambling aspect of it um, and, and look at it that way I think people are fun but if you're if your sole purpose is to be hung up on your personal religious belief or what it which, which some people look I've talked to some people that straight up believe gambling is sinful like if you if you do any form of gambling you are sinning and need to repent um, so of course if somebody has that mentality then they're going to be like well don't bring something that would encourage sin so <clears throat> that's really what I'm getting um, a lot of people kind of neutral to it um, not really hearing a ton of people in favor for it it's more so either against it or kind of neutral to it it's interesting um, and, and it doesn't surprise me that that would be the reaction of, of people out there. I wonder if this is going to be divided, <clears throat> as many issues are, with the people that are against it being extremely vocal, with those that are for it just sitting back and saying, well, I, what, what, I'm, not, I'm not going to come out and strongly voice my support, mm. but I'm also not going to voice my 
a lack of support for yeah. or my disapproval of it. <coughs> did, did you hear anybody, I mean, did anybody say that you talked to, did anybody that you talked to say anything about the fact that what they are doing is trying to impose their values and their value judgments on other folks? You mean from, from their opposition? From their opposition. Um, not really, because I think that when people make those type of comments, Lim, they just assume that that's what you know they're doing anyway, so they don't really have to state that. Um, no, I mean, I didn't really really get that much of a sentiment off of that. It just, because, you know, when I when I dug just a little, because, you know, you always ask, well, why? You know, yeah. what what is yes. your opposition? Yes. And that was really, it was either just a neutral thing or a, I just don't like gambling. And like I say, I talked to I have talked to two people that say that some form of gambling has ruined their family. And so, you know, the the husband or the boyfriend or <clears throat> the dad or somebody became addicted to gambling and it like, you know, ended up losing tons of money, got you know, got addicted to it, just you know, obviously there are people that win tons. You know, I I'm not here to cast stones either way because you know it, people are allowed to choose what they want to choose you know, I, but I, I would simply I would simply say this to those folks th that there are addictions and there are things out there that people have problems with across the board mm -hmm. if that's the case are you the sa saying the same thing about alcohol Al alcohol cirrhosis liver kills people well people could look are at you are you saying the same thing <laughs> about tobacco are you saying that, that tobacco lung cancer kills people well people could look at me and say we'll take ESPN off of uh, TV I, I, because and, and Wayne I, watches too much and, and sports and I would say this you know like I would say this a company that's been in the news um, very much the past week Pfizer Pfizer is one of the companies that makes opioids. Mm -hmm. uh, do we want, to, if we truly want to go down this path, then where is your opposition to the Federal Dr Food and Drug Administration's mm -hmm. approval of opioids that have killed tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people and ruined their lives because of the legal addiction that they have with that? Is this an apples and oranges comparison? You maybe try to make that case, but I will say to you that there are things out there that if someone wants to be addicted to, they will be addicted to. Oh, yeah. There are people that are driving from North Carolina across the border to Virginia to do this. My, my point would be, if it's going to be here, then we in this community have the ability to deal with it here in the community, reap the benefits from it of the jobs and the income, and then for those people that oppose it, oppose it by, by being there for the people who may run into addiction issues. Be there, take the money that you would make from it, Take your, take your services and open the clinics to say there's a Gamblers Anonymous right here next to it. How, how much more appropriate would that be than to take the benefits of the, uh, the casino, open it, and then have the faith-based community have one of the most powerful and strongest gamble, Gamblers Anonymous mm -hmm. um, uh, chapters here in Rocky Mount to help the people <clears throat> that would be addicted, that might become addicted, from, who may already be addicted yeah. to it and are simply doing it now because it's easier for them to do it here in North Carolina. Well, I can honestly, you know, obviously you and I have had enough yeah. off, the, off the record conversations. Both of us know each of us to be religious men, um, God-fearing men. Part of my religion um, as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, I, and I think I've talked to you about yes. this, is, is the word of wisdom, which is that yes. we abstain from any tobacco, um, alcohol, even coffee and tea and, mm -hmm. and, and harmful drugs. Uh, and, yeah, and people are kind of like, oh man, you know, that's, uh, you know, I, you mean you can't even have an occasional drink? Um, and, and what, what uh, you know, to your point, I think statistically speaking, the majority of people probably when they drink, they, they are able to handle it okay. You know, obviously we see a lot of people that can't, they get drunk, they do, you know, so, you know, our, our look at it from our religious standpoint is, you know, just don't put anything into your body that would ever give you the opportunity to lose control. Yes. You know, like your body is a temple. Don't put anything in it that's harmful at all. So I get, I get the religious feeling mm -hmm. because I, I, I have tried to hold myself to very high standards in that way and, and other things as well. Um, <clears throat> but I also see the fact that there are many, many people that, I mean, many friends of mine that 
to my knowledge of you know they'll they'll have them an occasional drink and it's never an issue never even you know never even get drunk it's just an occasional drink with a friend or something like that and that's fine i mean they're, they're good people they don't so from the statistical side of this who's to say that and i don't know what the stats are lim but would you say maybe 80 to 85 percent of people that gamble really don't have an i mean we, we don't know that I, but I, I would say that you know maybe most of them don't have problems you know and, and and they're able to so so from the from the business standpoint of it you know you look at it and say well most people can probably handle that and so we're gonna you know we're gonna let it let it go from the economic side and and, and be what it is so we have a caller uh, joining us this morning uh, good morning caller you're on the air good morning yes why this show against everything coming to Rocky Mount uh, you was against the event center you were against the, against the hotel that was trying to be built on the east side of Rocky Mount and you're against the uh, <coughs> potential casino coming to this area uh, you, are, you are you are in you are incorrect, sir. With no one on this program, none of the three of us have said anything about that. Have voiced our opinions about it. In fact, I have come out and said well, I would like for it to be there. there. This is council. This is Councilman Knight. Let, this is Councilman Knight. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, Councilman Knight. All right, since you're calling, uh, uh, no. are you are you for or against the casino? The show talking about she was against the event. Uh, that's that's not us. Casino. That's not us. Are you? How do you feel about the casino, Councilman Knight? I'm asking you a question. How do you no, feel about the casino? My question answer Sandra my question. The show last week, talking about the casino. I don't know. I wasn't on the show with her. I did not watch her this past. I Thursday, did not watch her either. So I, so I, I don't do know. Not, I don't know. She's against everything, and then you talk about Christian value. You're anti-racism. You're anti-poverty. Uh, 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 Are you anti that? Answer my question, sir. Would you would you well, answer my question, Councilman Knight? Would you would you tell us would you tell us right now? Tell our viewers right now your feelings on the casino, please. Councilman Knight, will you answer the question? Councilman Knight, would you answer the question? Would you tell us your feelings on the casino right now? Yes, are you for it or against it? Councilman Knight, I what? asked you a question. You would you please respond? Would you please respond? Life. How do you feel anyway, about the I casino? Yes or no? Look, look, I have another question for you, Councilman Knight. You anti, you anti. I have another. You wrong. I have another question for you, Councilman Knight. If you won't answer the question about casino, perhaps you'll answer this for our viewers. No, I'm not going to answer your question. I just put this out there. You're not going to. You won't answer the question. Let me ask you. I'll, I'll pose. I'll pose the question to you, Councilman Knight. I'll pose the question to you. For our viewers, would you please define the Smart Growth Initiative? We talking about. Would you please define it for our viewers? Every time you come on your show, you anti this, you anti that. Councilman Knight, would you define the Smart Growth Initiative, please? Please, and, and, smart and, and, growth. Councilman Knight. Opinion. You're pushing it on their show. Councilman Knight, would you define the smart growth your initiative? Show, your, owner of your show is partly Robbie Davis. But anyway. Would you, you, would you define the smart growth initiative, Councilman Knight? I guess we lost him. All right. Well, did, he, did he answer the question about his feelings on the casino? I don't believe I don't he believe answered that he either did. of the two questions that you posed. Um, you know, as far as, and, and I'll go back to his initial comment about um, us. Now, like I say, I, I did not see Sandra's show Thursday. I, I did I, not I, either. I try to tune in sometimes. I did not, either. I, I did not see it. Um, he's alleging that she was totally against it. Like I say, I, I, I didn't see it. I, I will say this. I, I, I do not understand how that Councilman Knight could say that either of the two of us yes. Are sitting here opposing I, the fact, casino at all. I mean, we're just you know we're 
Let me go. I, I guess if you give both sides of a story, you're in you're in opposite. I mean, we because I I we've sat here yep. and very regularly said, here's all the the potential benefits of it. You know, it's just here's those it. that do oppose it. You know, we share their ideas as well. As, so I, I I will I will correct him in saying that neither one of us have sat here and just trying to oppose it uh, at well, all. Here's here's a situation that is uh, someone making a statement, who's hoping that if he makes it loud enough and long enough and says it long enough, it'll become true. But it, it's it's not. <coughs> we I, I can't speak for anybody else that's had other parts of another program. In fact, I, what that shows is we're not told what to say. No, right. We, we, we're not. No right. one tells us what we have to say on this program, no. or tells us that our views have to be one way or the other. So we can have dissenting views. You and I have had dissenting views. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been right, you've been wrong. Um, but we have dissenting views and, and that's okay. We can agree to disagree. Oh my gosh, I love it. I, I, I want to thank Councilman Knight for calling in as we as he always does. He always gives us interesting comments. Well, and, and we encourage every council we representative. Wish uh, more council representatives would call in. Yes, I, I, I wish that more of them were I, like Councilman I, Knight and would, I will, would call in. So. I will come back and say this to the opponents of the casino. QVC is gone. We hope that Pfizer is going to stay up, and they said they will, and I believe that they will. Mm -hmm. But there's no question that, in terms of jobs in the area, there is there are more people looking for work and good jobs than there are jobs available. Mm -hmm. This project, the casino project, <clears throat> promises to bring in a minimum of 3,000 jobs, with more on the way from the ancillary businesses that come in. Yeah. For those folks that oppose it, I, I would simply say to you. Tell me where the 3,000 jobs are going to come from. Tell me. Well, and, and, tell, and tell the folks out there that are looking <clears throat> for jobs. Tell the folks that lost their QVC jobs yeah. who are saying, I want to stay in the area and I'll apply for these jobs as soon as they're available. I want you to tell me where they're coming from because you cannot separate your moral convictions about what's going on from the economic standpoint and the impact that this would have. If there is another project out there, Nash County or Rocky Mount or Edgecombe County has another project that is in the same time frame that will bring in an equal number of jobs, we can have that discussion. Now, for me, if you got that, that's 6,000 jobs that we're looking at in the, in the area right there, which would be a tremendous boon for everything. It raises the economy. It puts more people to work, puts more tax revenue in the area. Right. That. But if you're going to oppose it, tell me, not just from a, a philosophical and religious standpoint, the tell me where the job, what's, what's the equal, and I, it doesn't have to equal, tell me this, the similar plan that yeah. will bring those jobs in. That when the money comes into the, into the community and into the economy here, mm -hmm. the folks can choose to use that money that comes into the economy. If they want to oppose the casino, they can do everything they can at that point to oppose it being there. If they want to stand yeah. outside and picket people coming in that, to say, don't go into the casino, do that. And if they want to start uh, support groups for the yeah. people that have problems with it, use the money to do that for all the good things that could come Absolutely. from that. Well, it's, it's interesting that he would say that we were taking that stand because you you particularly, and even both of us yesterday, were saying, saying the exact same thing we were we were highlighting the economic impact and the opportunity this we had you know anytime you can have something that would create almost 3,000 jobs you'd be dumb you'd be dumb to try to keep that from from coming you know the only thing we were saying was this is where some people have a a moral issue um, to, to that and 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 I get that you know people have the right to feel what they feel you yes. know in their heart morally but I think when push come to shove, you look at it and say, "All right, you know, this is this is a situation where uh, this is we we need jobs, we we need good jobs." Um, also, you look. I, I, I'll go back to something Mayor Robertson said in his comment yesterday that I think would be important to point out here. <clears throat> this is the type of jobs, the type of business, whatever you want to call it, entertainment, that would put you on the map from the stand. I, I think I think it changes the game and how people could view the entire area because if what what's your first thought when you think about a town that has a casino you think, La oh man Las Vegas yeah well, well yeah, yeah. I, I, man that's 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 the place to be you know that, that I, I I would like to I would like to live there you know like I think a lot of people look at it that way so if you're looking for ways to build rocky mount build the image of rocky mount that's probably a a, a good thing i i think that the the way people think about that would be from the entertainment 
uh, side of things would be very, well, very positive. But, you know, l let me just say that that it does because the the uh, influx of people coming in also will bring a, 